Gemini's, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes giving you the end of February 2020. Gemini's, thank you in advance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one. Thank you so much. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. And Gemini is feeling some kind of way, so you might not want none of this one here, okay? I'm just forewarning you. They are very, very uh, torn. Geminis are torn right now. Um, everything is pre-shuffled and upright. Oracles are laid out. If it comes out reversed on a clarifier, I will read it as such, and I do not read from the floor. Geminis. OMG. Um, the last couple times we talked, uh, there was a epiphany of understanding, whereas though you had someone in your energy that really didn't get where you were trying to go in life, okay? And um, from that um, epiphany, you realized that there was a choice that you needed to make basically, honestly, between you and and your dreams and goals and somebody else because I felt like um, you were carrying someone or um, trying to build someone up you know what I mean or something up uh, as far as like a project or whatever that just wouldn't get off the ground or whatever but it's more so a relationship um, where we are today is still at a point of um, uh, fork in the road. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I feel like a lot of you are not, uh, not only that you, do, it's not that you don't want to choose, you don't know the direction that you need to take. It's more so that the burden, it's almost as like, you know, the saying like information is power. You came into the information and the knowing and and the realization, and it became a burden. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what to say. Your pre-shuffle energy, seven of wands, two of swords, king of swords. You know, it could be that you you were still trying to um, almost talk to this person straightforward and let them know like this is where this is where this is. It's so serious right now. It has to change. Or it will change. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know what you have to do. Let me let me show you what I'm saying. Past energy, sacral chakra. Okay, this is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is uh, I know. You know, basically, I know. I know what I need to do. I I'm sorry. I want. I want. I I, I want this to work out. I know what I need to do uh, to make this happen. This is what we need to do because I want this to work. I want it to work, period, okay? Business, family, relationship, you know you know your life, okay? But you know you're coming from a place where you know what you, what you wanted. You understand what I'm saying? And that brought on um, a third eye chakra energy that you're in now. This is I see. You see what, where you need to go. You see the possibilities. You see what you need to do to get there. Um, you, you, your intuition is like on peak right now. You know, you're dreaming, you're, you're daydreaming. Um, you're seeing your synchronicities. You're connecting with people. Uh, you're picking up on energy. All of that. All of that. Okay. And future energy, suffering in silence. This is mental energy. Okay. Uh, because I don't think people really understand this burden that you're carrying on this, whatever this decision is that you need to make. They don't even know. You're really, you're not even sharing it. They don't know that uh, it's a burden to you having to choose you. And that's probably because, you know, you are loving people. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that you tried uh, again. I think you tried and tried again. I think you introduced them to both sides of yourself. You had a talk with them 
from both sides of yourself, you know, because you know y'all dual uh, personalities or dual energies, Gemini is, you know what I mean? And you, so you've extended every uh, olive branch that you felt could be extended, um, even compromising your own, you know, uh, not your integrity, not like capabilities. You understand what I'm saying? Like you were holding back from things from yourself, trying to get this person or this uh, thing to, to get to where you needed it to be. And it just would not happen no matter what you did or said. What's crowning you is a sacrifice, hangman energy, okay? This is being stuck, not being able to move, trying to look at every possible aspect and perspective of the situation, okay? What's undermining you is your fear. Again, mental energy, you know, um... Not wanting to make a choice, not wanting to make a decision for the fear of the um, uh, the hurt or the burden or the aftermath or the loss. <sighs> Accelerate emotion at the bottom of the deck. Spiritual energy, you definitely know and see, you know, what you need to do. All right. Look to the hills. All right. Look to the hills from which cometh thy help and be encouraged. All right, guys, let's put some clarifies on it and see what we can get details we can get from this sacral chakra. I want to start with this past and thank you. Damn. Queen of Wands reverse. Well, it came out sideways, so we'll do a double read. You know, the Queen of Wands air, and I'm sorry, fire energy. Goodness gracious, um, Aries, Leo, uh, Sag, um, direct, focused, passionate, a go getter, single, um, or once or is happy single rather. She's a marriage material, but nine times out of ten, the Queen of Wands really feels like you know, sometimes that a partner is in their way. You understand what I'm saying? More so than a uh, help. All right. Uh, they'll deal with people, but they, 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 they want what they want when they want. You know what? That makes sense on top of the sacred chakra. How about that? Sacred chakra, what you want. They want what they want, what they want, period. All right. And they're going to get it. They're definitely going to get it. In the reverse, this is lack of those, um, characteristics and aspects but like I said it came out sideways so probably some of you may be feeling like this as far as um your um uncertainty you know what I'm saying a uh, lack of confidence lack of focus um and others of you you know what you want and you know what you need to do all right uh, for the Geminis that know what they want, and I have a clarifier on the Queen of Wands, but thank you. Yeah, see, you already, you, you have that idea, you know what steps you need to take, you know. And this is, again, past energy. So it looks like you tried to make a move um, uh, towards your goal, okay, towards your goal. And it was a small step, you know what I mean, Um with a lot of passion, could have been a love offer uh, from you or someone else. Uh, for those who are uncertain from this Queen of Wands energy, please. For those who are uncertain, can I have? Thank you. Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, this is loving, nurturing. This is somebody that don't want to let go. Because the queen is is that mother figure. They're by your side, right, wrong, or indifferent. You understand? Uh, they take care of home. And they make sure home is good. And and uh, firm. There's a firm foundation here. Okay? So for those who are uncertain, 
and may be lacking confidence, uh, it's because uh, you don't want to um, shake the grounds of your home, of your household, okay? For others of you who know what you want, you want to make a move towards it and willing to take that leap of faith, you already have uh, in mind what you need to do. And you might have actually made a move towards it. So like I said, if it's a connection with a relationship, somebody has reached out, either you or them. You know what I mean? If it's business-wise uh, or something like that, you've taken, you've started taking the necessary steps, maybe school or fill, uh, applied for something um, to get the ball rolling, okay? Let's clarify this page of wands. Can I have one on the page of wands? For the people who know. Thank you so much. This is a lot. This ain't one. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look what. Hello? Hello? People who have made the decision to move forward. <sighs> Baby. Baby. Let me tell you the clarity that you have uh for your your new venture beautiful life changing happiness you know what i'm saying uh, even though you're not sure it truly is a leap of faith all right even though you're not sure of the outcome you're riding on faith you're riding on spirit you're riding on your promise you, you understand what i'm you know what go ahead with your bad self all right Love it. Love it, Gemini's. Love it. All right. For those who... Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're still stuck. Babies, Gemini's. For those of you who are unclear and, un, um, and you know, lacking that confidence to make this decision because you don't want to shake the foundation of home, you're stuck, baby. Three of Wands energy still is passion. You still, you know, you still have that drive. You still have the, uh, that love or uh, that desire. You understand what I'm saying? You're just not making that move. You're not making the move. Let's move into the current energy. Third Eye Chakra, please, for Gemini. End of February. Third Eye Chakra, please, for Gemini. End of February. Third Eye Chakra, please. For Gemini. Thank you. Ooh, Empress energy, Libra, Torian energy. Yes, the Empress is abundant. She loves herself, okay? She requires of others. She requires a certain treatment. She requires a certain recognition. She requires a certain acknowledgement. She requires the attention of the room when her presence is, has graced it. Okay? Period. It's required because of her title and her status. So if this is clarifying your third eye, then you are seeing within yourself the things that uh, you require or you are seeing in others, you, you know what I mean, their abundance. You're seeing it all. You're seeing it all. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Ha! Two of Wands. Now that's decision made. Yes. Yes. So it looks like those who were stuck, they are starting to make moves. Those who already started making moves, you're starting to see progress. Boom. Thank you. Shoot. <laughs> Nine of Wands energy. Guys, you have a lot of fire out here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe you have fire in your chart or someone you're connecting to has fire in their chart. But the passion on this board is hot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Nine of Wands energy. You know, this is a protected energy. This is a wounded warrior. But this is someone that has been through, all right, and traveled across. But still willing. But still willing to stand, still determined uh, to defend. You or them, you know your life, okay? Tell me about this hangman energy. Hangman energy, please. Crowning the reed, thank you. 
Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Now, um, the page uh, is a guaranteed offer or a guaranteed uh, start, okay? Um, very slow, kind of like the night, okay? It's, it's not much. It's not much. Okay, um, seven of wands energy, as you can see, is a protective energy, a defensive energy. You know, maybe uh, other people uh, are involved. Uh, you're with, you're protecting yourself from, or you're trying to protect your foundation. Like I said, for those of you that um, your decision will shake the home. You know, I don't know if you're deciding maybe to end a, a marriage, to change a job, you want to move. Um, whatever it is, it's going to affect the home. And it looks like it's leaving you stuck. The fact that you have to defend this decision, you have to defend this idea. It has you stuck. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Thank you. Now we have the emperor and the empress out here, okay? I'm just saying. Divine connection. The emperor, uh, Aries, uh, Taurian energy. Um, the boss. This is a very militant rule, okay? Um, the CEO of the COO. The boss. All right. Once the emperor energy is involved, that means that um, things are going to usually get done, period. The emperor knows how to rule his kingdom. OK, now clarifying this page of Pentacles and seven of wands, maybe this uh, reason why you're feeling stuck is because you have to embrace this energy to make your decision, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to rule with this iron fist. But if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Why is Gemini trapped in fear? Why is trapped in fear undermining this read? Thank you. Magician energy. Oh, babies. Mm. Magician energy you know is a um, manifesting energy this is somebody who has what it takes to get it done and maybe that's why you feel like you're stuck or trapped in fear because you fear that as soon as you leave they're going to get it together or they're going to use all your hard work and time and effort and teachings on the next one. You know what? That would be normal. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm sorry. It really is. It really, that, that's, a, that's, you know what? You, it, it, sometimes it's a bad deck. Yep, you're right. Acrimony. Who said that? <laughs> exactly. Shout out to Tyler. I'm telling you. <laughs> You just never know. You never, ever know. You never know. Tell me about this magician energy. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> that bulb stick. <laughs> Are you afraid of losing the bulb stick, Gemini? Or <laughs> the poom poom? Not the boomstick. Wait a minute. You can't take that now. You can go, but the boomstick got to stay. Gemini, I, I feel you. <laughs> the magic was in the boomstick. Look. <laughs> Woo. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. Look, you got to laugh at this shit now. The, the life is real. It hurts. Y'all got done me. Your heart is hurting. Your mind hurting. You got headaches. You dealing with stuff. And these crazy ass dreams and whatnot. And <laughs> you know what? There's nothing wrong with laughter. It's healing. It's healing. <laughs> and this here is funny. Shit. <laughs> All right. 
But you know, this Ace of Wands is also a passionate new beginning. It is uh, a fertile uh, myrtle energy. So um, people who are looking to be pregnant or, uh, you know, have someone pregnant, uh, this energy will definitely help speed that along quite nicely quite nicely okay so it looks like there was some manifesting of newness of passion of uh, a new beginning um, and again this is all clarifying trapped in fear trapped in fear is what this is clarifying okay what's undermining you all right so fear like I said of someone getting it together as soon as you leave or fear um, that they're going to use everything that you gave them and give it to somebody. <laughs> Gemini! <laughs> Woo! I'm going to move. <laughs> I got to leave this alone. <laughs> you done taught them the tricks of the trade, didn't I? <laughs> Future energy suffering is Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> That's emotion. Knight of Cups. Because going into the future energy, you know, you go into your quiet, you go into your corner, your quiet space, your quiet time uh, with your emotions. It looks like you're not sharing this with friends and family. Hold on. Future energy. Knight of Cups. <laughs> Knight of Cups. God, sorry, y'all got me on a boomstick. Hold on, let me get my mind right. <laughs> Night of Cups, please. Thank you. Yeah. Even though you're moving on, uh, some of you moving on into the space of your new beginning, um, you don't like it, okay? Period. You don't like it, but you feel like it needed to be done. Okay, you feel like it you need it needed to be done, even though it pulls on all your heartstrings, um, and it feels really heavy uh on your heart. It needed to be done, all right. And don't feel bad uh you know about yourself. Don't there's no self pity here or there's no you, you know what I'm saying, uh, regrets. Don't regret. Okay, make your decision, make it firm, make it known, pray about it, pray about everything, okay, so that you can get some assistance uh, with this process, because even though you have to go through it, you know, you don't have to stay in it, you just got to go through, so pray uh, for a quick recovery, you know what I'm saying, on to the next stage of your cycle, let me just have one more on this future energy. One of uh, Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, please. Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, please. Knight of Cups, thank you. Yeah. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself, Gemini. Don't set yourself up. Because this is all in your mind, mind you. This isn't, you know, no game playing. Or, you know, this is suffering in silence, okay? This is all in your mind. Mental energy. Don't let your emotions lie to you. Don't let your pain lie to you, making you feel bad, making you feel, uh, like I said, like uh, regret. Okay, don't don't do that. Or try not to, at least. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's time. Judgment. It's definitely time, guys. Let's put some rebel on it. Even though I already got a good laugh. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Final messages, please, for Gemini on this read. Thank you. Final messages, please, for Gemini. Final messages, thank you. Thank you. Final messages, please, for Gemini on this read. Last run. Final messages, please, for Gemini on this read. That's it? Okay. Oh, boy, shit. Yeah, I'm snatching out my phone. All right, guys, we have. Oh, you look like a shit show. Get it to Gemini. Come on now. Get it together. 
You're a hot mess. Fat. Clean yourself up. Go get pretty, baby. Winning. Yes. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. That's that new idea, that new endeavor, that new... Um, whoever's making that decision, that's you. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Gemini. That shame and regret, nix that stuff, I'm telling you. Now is not the effing time, all right? No revenge plots. We don't need that. Ooh, rebel. I never had this one. What does this read? Because fuck it. Wait a minute. <laughs> rebel. God damn it. I'm sorry. Let's try that again, rebel. <laughs> because fuck it. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't fucking force it. You can't do it. That's right. Allow that shit to come to you. You cannot force it. You can't force people to be who you want them to be. All right? You got that's that's God's job. You got to just do you, be you and live for you and then he'll bring your partner to you. They'll meet you where you are. You won't be building up and building up and carrying and building up. No, they're going to meet you where you are and then you'll grow together. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful, guys. Yes. I hope this resonated. I truly enjoyed sharing it with you. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising. Please do not take this energy with you, though. Leave it here for someone else. Guys, always remember, we're all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.